So this is a demonstration of various light blueprints that I have created. And the first one is a blueprint that places lights on the surface. It is particle based. So let's drag this Niagara system into the scene. And as you can see, we need a static mesh to distribute the particles. Let's get a static mesh first. Mm, what do we have? We have this plane. Let's choose this one. And as you can see, it has placed light on that plane. So the shape of the plane is something like this, as you can see. And this blueprint has placed light all over the surface of that plane. We can control the number of lights. Let's increase to 500. And we can change the color as well. Let's change to something like blue. Okay. We can increase the number to, let's say, 2000 as well. We can make as many copies as we want of the system. One, two, okay, it does not matter. Let's leave this because we already have placed it in the, placed it in the scene. So let me unhide it. Let me play it. Okay, you can see now. Fine. And we can use the same technique to place the lights on this Christmas tree. We'll use, uh, we'll use this plane to distribute lights around the Christmas tree. And then we choose this tree as a static mesh. Okay. And then we place it on the tree somewhere. Okay. Now this system, you don't have much control over the light. You can, can cannot control their timings. So there is another light system that we have. And this is spline based. For example, you drag and drop it in the scene and you have this spline. You can give this spline any shape you like. This shape and something like this, okay? Sort of a wave. And then here you can control the number of lights you want on this spline. Let's see 50. And we place these tiny bulbs. Let's change it to 100. Okay, and you can give it a random rotation. Okay, and I have, you can use the same spline to decorate the Christmas tree. Okay, you can place it like this and wrap it around the Christmas tree. I've already done it before, so I'll just delete it and unhide the tree lights. So I have placed here four of these splines and wrapped them around this tree. Okay. Play it from here. So you can see this effect. Okay. Now, now I have also placed in the scene something else, which is the wave light. This is the same blueprint that uses spline to place the lights. And I have made these shapes to demonstrate how well controlled these lights can be. Let's, and I have changed the geometry of the light in this one. For example, you can change the light geometry that you want to use. In this one, I'm using these boxes. You can change it to something like um, balls. You can change the size as well. You can change it to any shape you like, but I'll use these boxes right now. Let's see, four and four scale, and length is two. So let's play it now, and this looks like this right now. Okay, so let's play with these lights first, and we are in the wave light. Can we change the delay here? Yep, we can. You see, immediately the width is changed. And we can select all of them. 
and change the delay system to some to point one. Okay. Now if you change it to point five, it'll be something like this. Point zero two. 